You will always get beaten up on the water if you crash. You will crash if you want to get better. Push yourself and just know that it will hurt. I'm Annabelle Wattner and I'm a kite surfer. I've been to so many spots, I think. Norway has this roughness in the nature, in the landscape, which brings something special to the sport. When I was a kid, it was very difficult for me to sit still. My parents had a hard time actually to keep me quiet for the dinner. I didn't have time for those things. And this has absolutely followed me through life. I'm still not very good at sitting still, at relaxing. I need to move, I need to train, I need to be in the water to be happy, to feel good and, and be satisfied. Everyday life, I feel kind of restless. When I go kite surfing, I feel quiet. I feel like I can breathe. Kite surfing is insanely fast. It can be a bit risky, actually. You should absolutely know when you should enter the water. And also, you should actually be able to watch the sky, to watch the nature. If there are dark clouds arriving and everything else is clear, you should actually know that this could be a bit unsafe. Don't do any risks. I really like to improve myself, to get better, to learn new tricks. A day without sport is for me a day where I actually feel bad. I need to force myself to take a day off because my body needs it, but it's hard. I always have this need to feel, to move, to experience something. And this is exactly what kitesurfing does to me.